Hi there, and welcome to this exciting Menix 9.4 What's New video. I'm Jan de Vries, your logout host. And in this release, we'll be talking about new features and improvements that will take your app development to the next level. So stick around to learn more about the new Mendix Basic license, Atlas updates, and a new synchronization mode for objects. Let's get started. We are very happy to introduce Mendix Basic, our new, simple, and cost-efficient pricing package. For the lowest price, starting at 10 euro per user per month, you can access premium features, get more resources, and help from our support team. With Mendix Basic, you can get up to 100 users per app, forget about the sleep mode thanks to continuous availability, configure your own custom domain, access metrics, alerts, log levels, schedule events, and more. Upgrading is easy and you can do it online. Visit our pricing pages to learn more. With Mendix 9, the platform does SCSS compilation for you, so that no additional tooling is needed for compiling SCSS to CSS. And with this release, we significantly reduce the time it takes to see the effect when making a styling change in progressive web apps. Also, the reloading is very smooth as the styling is directly replaced in the browser. So all states, for example, enter data, pop-ups, tabs, etc., are kept as they were. Also note that if you make an error in the styling, you will directly see it in the browser. We added more control to the startup flow of native mobile apps. Next to a page, you can now configure another flow as a home page. For example, to show a setup wizard the first time a user opens the app. The Nanoflow homepage works much similar to how a web app works. We introduced a new synchronization mode called Synchronize Unsynchronized Objects as a part of the synchronized activity. This new mode enables you to only synchronize the changed objects. This can greatly decrease the synchronization time because less data will be synchronized between the server and the device. This will also make modeling offline first apps a bit more easier. And that brings us to the end of this What's New video. If you'd like to learn more about this release, go to docs.minix.com for the full release notes and list of fixes and features and updates. And as always, I'm Jan de Vries, your low-code host, and I'll see you at the next release.